You have to first be uncomfortable with how you feel about yourself. With that voice that a lot of us like to run away from, we all have it. We all have that voice that's saying, hey man, you know, you're, you're kind of wimping out right now. You're kind of being a little punk right now. But a lot of us say, okay, that's okay. It's okay to tell these little white lies to ourselves. So we first have to face the real you. The real me is David Goggins. The real me is a guy looking at you right now saying, I don't want to be on this show right now because I used to stutter as a kid. And I'm afraid of that. Goggins saying, all of you who don't like me, who don't want to, and that person then comes in. But you have to be David Goggins and say, man, I'm afraid of this. Life made me this way here. I stutter. I, I have these issues with uh, reading and writing and I'm fat and I'm insecure. You have to face that in that dark room. In that dark room is who you are. But in that dark room is where you have to create another human being that walks out of that dark room to face who you are. It is so amazing that I used to be a 300 pound guy and I thought that was it. Could barely read, could do anything. And now, what was inside that person was this guy that's in front of you today. That's how scary the mind is. And that's what I started realizing through this journey is that once I got a taste of, wow, man, I haven't even cracked. I haven't even begun to crack what the mind is capable of. And what I started realizing is on the other end of suffering, that's the real growth of life. And I talk about another thing called theory and practice. A lot of people are theorists. These smart guys that read these books and they sit down, they tell you what the mind is supposed to do. And a lot of us listen to that. By being a practitioner, I went out and realized a lot of these guys are so wrong, man. The mind has capabilities that are so unknown. I found that through suffering. And there's a whole other world on the other end of that. I never felt good about myself. I never felt good about myself. Whenever I would get somewhere, the demon would come back, put me right back in the cage. If you don't go back, like I'm a runner, left knee hurts. A lot of people focus on that left knee. And that's about life. You gotta figure out what has messed you up mentally. Go to the source, go to the origin of the source. I was so afraid of myself that I had to figure out I became a master of my mind. When you're afraid of something, you have to master it. That's how you start to overcome it. So what I realized, when I get to that point where I want to quit everybody, I get to the point where they want to quit, this is what happens. 